So let's let's talk about you. You, you kind of you, you were talking about how the you know, next generations and and a you know, big part of your work, my work is around you know helping families maintain continuity, right? Right. In a business, and I think there's there's often times where folks will look at and go, well, can we do you know can we do this? Because now we have, you know, there's there's new there's new situations. These generation, there's there's um, new models of the world. There's new core values. There's new, um, you know, just perspective. Yep. We can go on and on, right? And it, it just, it, and I'm working with a family business right now that's got, we're, we're, I got three generations at the table. Um, we're working with Gen Four, but of the th- three at the table, there's, I mean, you can go around each one, and each one's got a different set of core values, each different model of the world, life experience, everything, right? You've got to say, well, what are we we doing? And and you know, in, in some ways, it's it's very interesting. The the power is in the older generations, the formal power, but the future is in the younger generations, and they don't have any formal power. Yeah. But in a family business, they're the future owners, and there's no category in business for future owners. Um, and uh, but there is in a family business if you're you know, grandchildren, um, you know, came out of business school and coming and they're coming in the business and they're, um, you know, they're working and they, they want to see things differently. They may not have formal power. They may be very low on the totem pole, but um, they have a big voice. And so in, in family businesses, you're dealing with formal power in the older generations, um, informal power and new ideas in the younger generations. And, you um, you know, there isn't a, a standard way to do that. It isn't um, you you get, you know, your 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 grandchild um, and the thing you get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of attention. Um, if you're the grandfather, you get a lot of attention. Well, you know, grandfathers lose a step and grandfathers, as I know, being one, uh, you know, it's like they, they've been formed. Uh, my I went to business school in the uh, 60s. 1960s. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's like we learned different things, and right. the things I learned were powerful and exciting and new ideas then. But now they're kind of some of them are stale, and and I need somebody to tell me. And you know, yeah. if they, you know, in the family business, you know, your grandchildren or someone say, "Well, well, Grandpa, that was very nice," you know, and, and, you know, back then. But now, you know, we have cyber this, and and we have you know social media, and we have you know this and this, and you've got to do it so so um and and elder generations have a hard time letting go and giving up yeah. what what they know here's an example here's an example this is great i was working with a really huge family business and the the patriarchs two brothers ran this business huge and um and their um uh, their their um grandchildren were were coming in and um and taking over and and one of them was really talented and I and I, you know, I asked the the patriarch, well, you know, is, don't you think so and so is ready? Well, he's not a very good leader. Yeah, I, I got I got one of those right now. <laughs> but, 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 hey, tell me what you see. Um, yeah. What you see? Um, uh, you know it, it, that, that that. Well, he's um, he's too nice. Yep. He, he's friends with his team, and he does this terrible thing, which he listens. To his team, and he asks some ideas, and he's not authoritative enough, and um, and this is terrible. <laughs> too soft or too soft. That's what I've heard. Too soft. Yeah. I yeah. to be harder. And you know, I know his team, and I knew him, and he was like, he's a beloved leader, and people just think he's just leads a team. And this was an example of it was a really you know the father, um, the the grandfather really felt that um, that he was was lacking, um, and. Uh, uh, and and he was doing great. And so how do, how do we? This was a tough one to deal with. Um, yeah. to, to say, hey, um, you know, you, you you wise, you know, kind of, you know, you've been leader for fifty years. You've grown this business a hundred fold. Um, you know, it's like you got to listen. Um, that that there are different ways to lead now. So let's let I mean this is a really this is a really important point. Um, and I want to go deeper with it. How do we help folks? And 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 I put this a couple of different ways, but who who are you know we 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 get very we have a lot of ownership around our model of the world, right? And so like, hey, I've got 
I've been doing this for 35, 40 years, and I've seen things that you haven't seen. And I've gone through downturns and upturns and sideways and all these other things that you haven't seen. And you're naive and ignorant because you don't have my life experience, right? Right. And, right? and, and then, and so a person from that, and there's a bit of a, I use a word carefully, but there's a bit of an ego here where I'm not willing to leave my position and my perspective to enter yours to create possibility. And I see this a lot. And, um, you know, and I, I and I'm, I'm from the work I do, I, I'm constantly challenging folks level of consciousness and how they look at something because otherwise there is no, there's no possibility, right? It's you're right. I'm wrong. It's, it's very black and white. How do you, how do you work with someone to open them up to, to, to not feel threatened and, and be open to, to, to change? 